Okay, second thing, chemicals. How do we deal with our chemicals at home? Uh, at school, uh, you've been storing your chemicals either in the fireproof cabinet or you've been keeping smaller containers in your lockers, which is, which is just fine. The lockers are very well ventilated. Um, ventilation with your chemicals is important also, keeping them in a, in a relatively cool environment. Uh, so garages are kind of the obvious place to keep them, store your chemicals. Um, but again, if you're without a garage, keeping, storing your chemicals maybe outside on a patio, maybe in a container that's kept outside, like a larger bin or something that's kept outside, would be preferable also. But if you don't have those options, you'd probably be okay storing those chemicals in uh, wherever it is in your house that you store your household chemicals. Being that we're dealing with small containers, um, it's, a, it's different than if we had a gallon of this stuff, right? So, um, so having small containers, I think, at home uh, makes sense. You don't want to go for in, you know, you don't want to buy in bulk and get the largest container uh, that you can find. But, you know, buying smaller containers. So this size of the terpenoid that you may have been using or the Gamsol. Um, I wouldn't go any larger than these uh, at your house. I would keep, uh, keep the containers relatively small. So your solvents are um, um, perfectly fine to store in the garage or in a, a closet that, that you're storing some of those uh, household chemicals. So what I have um, down here is just like what you guys have, in class, I've got a jar that I keep my solvents. So this would be my Gamsol. And then I mix up uh, the medium as I go. I tend to use up all the medium so I don't have to worry about storing or disposing of the medium. I kind of mix it up as I go and um, just in small amounts. And so whatever I think I might use for that day, you know, my day of, of work, that's a good way of dealing with this also, right? You only mix up enough that you would use that day. Um, and so my medium that I use, uh, you have the choice of using a little bit of your solvent with, if you're working with your Galkid products, your gam uh, Gamblin products, um, mix that up to uh, the consistency that is preferable for you and just use it up. Um, at the end of the day, sometimes what, if I do have a little bit of residue left, what I'll do is I'll take a paper towel or I'll take a rag and I'll wipe out the inside of the jar just to get all of the chemicals. <clears throat> With your rags, you always want to use your, to lay your rags out so that they can air dry. And so I tend to kind of just I, you don't want to wad up your rags and throw them in a corner and keep them there. You kind of, you know, let them air dry, put them over, uh, put them outside on the patio or um, uh, outside on a chair that they can air out. Okay. Um, and so I really don't have any of my medium that I need to dispose of. What I tend to accumulate is... Um, uh, the residue that's in the bottom of my uh, brush cleaner jar. And so here with the, the Gamsol, you know, the benefit, one thing you'll notice with the Gamsol is uh, if you let it sit long enough, the residue will kind of sink to the bottom and solidify. And then I'm left with uh, just clear Gamsol, and this can be reused. And so what I usually do is uh, I might, at the end of a day, take the brush cleaner and I'll pour it into a larger container like this, the ever popular Vlasic pickle jar, and, um, and just pour it in there and all of the paint residue sinks to the bottom and solidifies. And then um, I'll just pour off the uh, Gamsol and reuse it. And so in that way, you're not producing a lot of waste. We're recycling our um, uh, 
chemicals. And um, that's the great thing with the Gamsol is uh, it's a relatively um, mild solvent and it also will, um, the paint residue, it'll, after you let it sit for a while, it'll begin to separate. Now to dispose of this, <clears throat> or if I do have liquid chemicals that I need to dispose of, I usually keep a couple of these jars and, and when I get enough, I'll, um, when they get full, I'll uh, take them to uh, the local hazardous waste. So most municipalities, cities, counties provide um, residents with uh, some type of disposal service for hazardous waste because um, just around the household, we, we use a lot of uh, chemicals that need special disposing. And so you can just drop those off. And sometimes you need to set up an appointment. Other times um, they have uh, community drop off days and you can just pull up in your car and they'll, they'll take the, everything off your hands. Um, that's the preferable way of disposing of, of those things. And so keeping a gas can or a metal container that is uh, resilient to solvents, um, pouring your waste into those cans um, is, a, is a way that we would collect, you know, um, at home. And we just keep those, keep those cans of waste, again, outside or in a garage or someplace like that, someplace, you know, where you would store a gas can, wherever you would store a, an extra gas can at home, you know, um, you can store these. Um, and so what I have here, a variety of things we use. This is the stand oil, uh, linseed oil, uh, the gambling products. Sometimes I'll mix and match things, but mostly I stick with, I really like the stand oil. Um, it's a traditional binder and it produces a glossy type of uh, more enameled surface and I like that if I'm in a hurry if I really want things to dry I'll add some of the ga gambling products you can mix and match these things and so if you're using stand oil you can always add the gal kit to that um, I tend to buy in smaller containers like I was saying because there's always a possibility that the Gal kid is going to start to solidify before I use it up. And so that's what I have here. Okay, I hope this helps. I uh, hope it helps alleviate some of the anxiety. If you've got some anxiety with how are you gonna deal with these things at home? Um, um, most people, most artists um, don't have the, all the facilities that we have at school. And so uh, just being mindful of where you're storing things. Um, you don't want to keep them in your bedroom. <laughs> you don't want to keep your rags in your bedroom. You don't. And then storing your paintings, right? When your paintings are drying, where do you keep those? Uh, storing them in um, an area that's outside would be, or in a garage again, uh, would be preferable. Some place that's well ventilated. You don't want to keep all of that stuff in your, in your close living quarters. Okay, hope that helps.